2018 was definitely the best year of my life, um, but it was also the hardest year of my life. 2018. <laughs> what a year it has been. What's up, Austin? Thanks for asking me to be a part of this, man. This year has been really sort of a changing year for me. If I had to sum up 2018 in one word, it would be dope. This year has just been absolutely incredible. When I began my YouTube channel at the beginning of this year, I thought I was alone. I thought that there was no one else like me. And you know, I did amazingly cool things at the beginning of that year. You know, I went to Rome and I went to London and I explored, but all of my videos were by myself. But about a month after I got home, everything switched. I began meeting other YouTubers and other creators and joining communities that were being placed around individual creators. Audrey Amber's Discord server, you know, the No Small Creator Facebook group. And being able to interact with those people and talk to those people, I suddenly realized that I am not alone, that I was not the only one out there. Instead of focusing on everything that I did, I want to focus on what we did as a community, as a community of YouTubers. And so I reached out to some creators that I was a part of this community with, and I asked them two questions. What was one big thing that happened to you this year? And what was the biggest lesson that you've learned? Some of the biggest things that happened to me this year was flying internationally. I went to you know Rome and London. That was incredible. Um, I met YouTubers in real life, and just being able to get to know those people on the screen at a personal level was incredible. Um, I documented 100 days of my life in a row. All of that boils down to one lesson, and that is like, you need a community. You need a community more than anything. If you grind this out on your own, it's gonna be so much harder. But that's what I've learned. Let me tell you what we have learned. I don't think there has been any other year in my 15 years of life experience where it has been as influential to my life in 2018. Well, actually 2012, because that's when my family came to the US. But we're here to talk about 2018, not 2012. April, I uploaded my first YouTube video. It was a bad YouTube video. It was still a YouTube video though. That was great. September was like the first month when I could comfortably watch back my own vlogs without feeling even a little bit of cringe. December this month, very, very comfortable with vlogging in public, especially at school. School is very hard. Something that stood out to me about 2018 is it really also has to do with one of the biggest things that happen or like, you know, accomplishment or something I'm most proud of. It's just, it's the ability of drive, desire, a passion, a goal, if you put your face to it and if you just keep going towards it, how it can turn into something big. Yo guys, my name is Griffin Harris. I am a videographer and a YouTuber. So when Austin reached out to me and asked me these two questions, the first one being, what is the highlight of my year? Something that I look back on and I would have to say it was my motivational short series that I did. My, my favorite one was Finish because in, in that video, I talk about how I struggled creatively um, picking between something that the people want to see and something that I actually enjoy creating and obviously you need to stick with something you enjoy creating and I think a lot of people get caught up in that because a lot of times we say okay well this will get more views but this is something I'd rather do and then we start weighing the options and we kind of get lost on is it the views that matter or is it you doing what you're passionate about what up Austin thank you very much for letting me be a part of your sort of year in recap um, I'm Corey Weekly, and I was a daily vlogger. I've decided to switch over to uh, seasons, which seems to be a little bit more sustainable. I still don't know how you do dailies, because Austin, you are a madman. You are a rock star. But here's here's the thing: like this year has been really sort of a changing year for me. I ended up quitting my job, starting a business and getting to a point where I wanted to do YouTube. I, I started and I really got inspired by Cody and by Austin, so I jumped into dailies full force. So what really stood out this year to me was that this was the year to start creating content for myself. I, I think I've been creating content for so many other people and I never thought about doing it for myself. And so this, this was the year that I decided I'm gonna start creating more content for myself. 
What's up guys, my name is Josh Wojnarski, and I'm a photographer and filmmaker here on YouTube as well as Instagram, and 2018 has been a crazy year for me. I turned a hobby of mine into a passion. I fell in love with content creation and improved my skills in photography and video production. Recently though, a relentless voice in my head told me to stop. I started to feel like it was a waste of time and I should be doing something more important. What I ultimately decided was, something is important when you decide it's important. That's the definition I choose to believe. Something that stood out for me in 2018 is getting to meet some awesome creators. You and Raphael and the other Austin, The Beard. I got to meet these people and they're fantastic and they're amazing creators and getting that sense of camaraderie is amazing. It's something that I didn't really expect with the whole YouTube thing and I love it. It's probably my favorite part. So my biggest highlight of this year, well two, I'm going to put these together because they're kind of similar, but was probably going to Vid Summit and VidCon, and that kind of ties into the biggest lesson I learned this year, um, which is finding creator friends. So when I went to Vid Summit and VidCon, I met um, like people I had been watching on YouTube for a while, but also I met friends that I didn't know, like that I just met at those conferences and I wouldn't have had met them otherwise. And honestly, finding creator friends is definitely the most important thing I've learned this year because like doing YouTube and stuff can be kind of lonely and it's good to have that group of people who know what you're doing, they get the struggle, and you can kind of, you know, bounce ideas off of or ask for advice. It's great. I highly recommend you find creator friends. You should join my Discord if you want to do that. I think the biggest thing that stands out the most is that I just need to stop caring about what other people think. I think that's the biggest thing I've learned this year and I'm still learning. Like getting rid of that insecurity of letting what others think get to you. I don't know if this is making sense, but I think that's the biggest thing I've learned this year and I'm still learning. The biggest thing I've been reflecting on, um, just putting our heads down and grinding. You know, you were daily, I was daily. It's an amazing, body of work and just sort of thing that happens when you have that much to look back on. 2018 was a fantastic year. The biggest lesson I've learned from 2018 is just do it. Go out there, make videos. Even if it's bad, just keep pushing and fighting and keep making them until they start getting better and you start enjoying it. And not that I didn't enjoy it, but I enjoy it so much more now because I feel like I'm better at it. And I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. So just do it, just do it. What is the biggest lesson that I've learned this year? The answer is that I can be real with my audience. See, through these motivational short series that I've done and with along with a few other videos, I've, I've come to realize that I can be real with my audience, that my audience actually cares about me as a person, not just the content I'm putting out, but, but me. People asking, hey, how is Michaela? Hey, how are you doing? Hey, uh, let me hit you up in the DMs, man. Let's, let's talk uh, cameras, let's talk cinematics. That is just so incredible to me. It wasn't really a lesson that I didn't know, but it was a lesson that was reassured in the fact that my audience was so supportive and I know that you guys are very supportive with Austin's content as well. And I think that's just so incredible and, and you know, it really needs to not be overlooked. So no matter what happened in 2018, no matter how many times you failed, no matter how many times you got made fun of, remember that anything you're connected to, anything you care about, truly is important. When you have that spark for something and it's all that you think about during that grungy day job and it's all that's on your mind when your head hits the pillow at night, then it matters. The lesson that I learned was that I discovered that everything is possible. It, it sounds cliche, but if you imagine everything being a possibility, if I wanted to become a YouTuber, if I wanted to become a storyteller, if I wanted to go and do woodworking shops, if I wanted to go jump in the mud, like I could do all those things because I can't, because there's nothing really stopping me from doing that. It's just you have to figure out how to do it. I think everything is possible. If you think you can do it, then go do it. I mean, there's a lot of amazing things that happened to me this year, and knowing that I can connect with so many people across the world on just creating content. I mean, I have friends now in like every corner of the world because I started making content and they're making content that engages me. I mean, that to me is the essence of this community and, and in essence, why you actually create content is because you get to make all these amazing friends like Austin. It's not so much about what I did. 
It's about what we did this year as a community, as a community of creators. And together, our community and your community and every YouTube community, we are gonna build something amazing this next year. But we are just, I am, I am just getting started. Like, let's get this thing, man. Are you with me? Let's do this thing. Thank you, Austin, for letting me be a part of this. We're gonna do a collab. I don't know how, we're gonna do a collab somehow. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. Austin, thank you for having me on your channel, man. But as always, guys, I'm Griffin Harris, and I'm out of here. Peace out, everybody.